आदर्श शिंदे आदर्श अंकिता ओके चंद्रशेखर रोल नंबर फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके सेवन एट प्रेजेंट सो नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन प्रेजेंट सर ओके फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सर इलेवन प्रेजेंट सर फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन प्रेजेंट सर ओके सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ओके ट्वेंटी प्रेजेंट सर ओके साई प्रकाश प्रेजेंट यस सर सागर ओके ट्वेंटी वन सागर इज देर ओके यस सर राइट ट्वेंटी वन प्रेजेंट सर राइट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्रेजेंट सर ओके ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन प्रेजेंट सर राइट ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी प्रेजेंट सर ओके थर्टी वन थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स प्रथमेश जोसलिनो सोहम अतिया सर रोल एट प्रेजेंट सर रोल नंबर एट ओके एनीबडी एल्स डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ एम्प्लीफायर्स राइट विल कंटिन्यू विद स्टडी ऑन एम्प्लीफायर्स Which are the top four types of amplifiers? Current series, current shunt, voltage series, and voltage shunt feedback amplifiers. Is it not? Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We are deriving the equation for input resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier. Right. This is the circuit which is drawn for the voltage series feedback amplifier. If you look into this circuit, right, this is the voltage series feedback amplifier. We have the source voltage V S, input voltage V I, and feedback voltage V F in the input side. right so these three are drawn along with the input resistance that is the input side you can see here vs is there source voltage input resistance is there then vi is there so across this uh, ri terminals there is vi voltage across this ri right then we have the feedback voltage vf so the three voltages vs vi across ri and vf are present along with the resistance input resistance ri this is at the input side then at the out input current ii is there then input resistance with feedback is rif then we at the output side we have what is the gain equation if you look into the gain equation for voltage series feedback amplifier that is v not is equal to avi v not is equal to avi right output voltage right that is 
AVI is the output voltage okay that appears across RL load resistance right that is V naught here then the output resistance is in series with the voltage source if it is a current source then the resistance will come in parallel if it is a voltage source then the resistance will come in series remember this it's a voltage right then the resistance will come in series if it's a current source then the resistance will come in parallel okay now this is the resistance r not we are having then uh, here this is the output voltage v not across rl output current is i not then resistance with feedback is rof this is the circuit that we are drawing for finding the input resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier let us start the derivation ri is given by vi by ii input resistance ri is nothing but input voltage across ri that is vi here input voltage across ri is vi okay across this ri across this ri is vi vi divided by ii that gives the input resistance ri vi is the input voltage ii is the input current therefore ri is equal to vi by ii next rif input resistance with feedback now when the feedback will come the when the feedback voltage is applied to the source voltage we know that correct if you look into this figure the feedback voltage is applied in series with the source voltage correct in series with the source voltage right therefore for the input resistance with feedback we are having the voltage as vs and the current as ii total voltage is vs total current is ii input current that gives the resistance with feedback that is rif is equal to vs divided by ii vs divided by ii let us apply kvl to the input circuit if we apply kvl to the input circuit we get what is the kvl here we are applying kvl to the input circuit it is negative to positive plus vs positive to negative minus vi positive to negative minus vf is equal to zero simple the same thing that we applied in the previous class negative to positive plus vs positive to negative minus vi positive to negative minus vf is equal to zero that is vs minus vi minus vf is equal to zero now equation for vi we have to find the equation for vi and vf vi equation is ii into ri that is input voltage across ri it is ii into ri vi is equal to ii into ri we are ii into ri vf is what is vf that is a feedback voltage beta is equal to vf by v not output is vf input to feedback circuit is v not output by input that is vf by v not is beta or vf is equal to beta into v not vf is nothing but beta into v not that is what is written here vf is equal to beta into v not now substitute this vi and vf in the above equation if we substitute for vi and vf in the above equation we get vs vi is ii ri then vf is beta v not minus beta v not equal to zero vs minus ii ri minus beta v not equal to zero right take it as equation second okay let us write the equation for v not also because there is an expression for v not here right let us write the expression for v not okay now what we are deriving here students input resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier that is rif we are finding the expression for rif okay so what is the expression for rif vs by ii so you have to express the equation the whole equation should be in terms of vs and ii okay then we can write it the equation for the we can write the equation for the input resistance with feedback now v not is avi if we look into this circuit v not is equal to a into vi right a is equal to v not by vi or v not is equal to avi write it v not is equal to avi vi is we already found the equation for vi that is ii ri that is a into i i r i a into i i r i that is the equation for v not now this equation is used in equation 2 right then we get vs this equation to vs minus i i r i minus beta what is the equation for v not we have got a i i r i substitute that that is vs minus i i r i minus beta into a i i r i a i i r i that is equal to 0 right then vs will be equal to what vs will be equal to take minus ii ri minus beta a ii ri to the rhs it will be plus it is vs is equal to ii ri plus beta a ii ri or ii ri take it as a common factor that into 1 plus a beta 
ir is common here it will be 1 here it will be a beta okay so i i r i into 1 plus a beta that is v s now rearrange the terms for v s by i i v s is on lhs i i is on rhs bring this i i to the lhs it will be in the denominator v s by i i that is r i f look back at the equation for r i f it is v s by i i resistance with feedback is v s by i i that is v s by i i will be equal to r i into 1 plus a beta r i into 1 plus a beta Right. Now, this 1 plus a beta here, it is greater than 1 because we know that beta is large value, right? And 1 plus a beta, that is all obviously is uh, usually greater than 1 only. So, as it is greater than 1, then RIF will be RI multiplied by this factor, 1 plus a beta, that is RIF will be greater than RI. Suppose, say RI is 10, 1 plus a beta is 20. So, 10 into 20 is 200. RI is 10, so RIF will become 200. That is 200 is greater than 10. Correct? Because RIF will be greater than RI. That is, we say that the input resistance increases by a factor of 1 plus a beta. Input resistance RIF with feedback, it increases by a factor of 1 plus a beta with respect to the input resistance without feedback. What is the conclusion? Input resistance with feedback increases by a factor of 1 plus a beta times with respect to the resistance without feedback clear here students so this derivation is clear here this derivation is understood so these derivations they are asking in the examination to derive the equation for input resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier or they may give the expression this expression they may give derive the expression ri into 1 plus a beta for the voltage series feedback amplifier then you have to derive this equation so this derivation is clear, yes, students. Derivation is clear. Yes. yes sir. Okay. Next, output resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier. Look at this uh, circuit. It is the same circuit as that of the we have considered for voltage series feedback amplifier, except that here we are making V S as zero and R L we are disconnecting and connecting voltage across the output terminals. There is a procedure for finding the output resistance. To find the output resistance, what we are doing, we are turning off the Vs, Vs is equal to zero, right? Then we are introducing a voltage source across the output terminals by disconnecting the load resistance, right? Output resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier, there is Vs is equal to zero, source voltage you are making zero, other voltages will be there, that is Vi will be there, Vf is also there, then Ri is there, Avi is same, R0 is also same, except that we have removed the load resistance RL and connected the voltage source across the output terminals in order to find the output resistance. This is the methodology or the procedure to find the output resistance of the feedback amplifiers. Okay. Now, if we make Vs equal to zero and connect voltage source across output terminals, then we have to find this ROEF, that is output resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier. ROEF should be determined. Procedure is reduce Vs to zero, remove RL and connect a voltage source V between output terminals. If you are connecting the voltage source across the output terminals, the current flowing into the circuit will be I. The current flowing into the circuit will be I, right? Here we are considering according to the convention of the two-port network, the II and I0 are flowing into the circuit. So the current from this voltage source V is flowing into the circuit, that is I. Therefore, the resistance at the output with feedback, output resistance with feedback is given by, that is here looking at the output terminals, right? Output terminals that with feedback, the resistance is given by the output voltage by the current that is V divided by I, output voltage by output current that is V divided by I that gives the resistance at the output with feedback. This ROF is equal to V by I, V by I. Let us apply KVL to the input circuit. If we apply KVL again, the same equation that we had got previously is Vs minus Vi minus Vf is equal to zero. But here we have shorted Vs, we have shorted Vs, we have made it zero right? Vs equal to 0. So if Vs is 0, 
then we get minus v i minus v f is equal to zero. Yes or no? Minus v i minus v f equal to zero, or v i is equal to minus v f. What is the equation? V s minus v i minus v f equal to zero, but v s is zero according to our procedure. Then if you substitute v s equal to zero here, what we get? Zero minus v i minus v f equal to zero, or minus v i minus v f equal to zero, or v i is equal to minus v f. V i is equal to minus v f. Take minus v f to the R H S. We get v i is equal to minus v f. Next equation for beta. We know the equation for beta. Beta is given by beta is given by v f by v not. Output is v f. Input is v not. So beta is v f by v not, or v f is equal to beta v not. V f is beta into v not. Put that equation. V f is beta v not. Okay. In equation one, this equation we have to put it in equation one. That is equation for v f. We get. So equation for V F is beta V not. Putting it in equation uh, this uh, three here, we get V F is equal to V I is equal to minus V F. V I is equal to minus V F. Or V I will be equal to V F is beta V not. V F is beta V not. Okay. Then uh, V not. What is V not? V not is the voltage across output. That is V. Voltage across output terminals. That is V. Correct. Plus V. Correct. So V not is V, then V F will be equal to beta into V not. What is V not? It is V. It is V F will be equal to beta into V. Beta into V. That is the feedback voltage. Now this we have to substitute in equation three. Now we have to substitute the feedback voltage equation in equation three. We get V I is equal to minus beta. V I is equal to minus beta into V. Okay. Let us apply K V L to the output circuit. If we apply K V L to the output circuit, let us see that. This is let us start from the voltage source that is negative to positive plus V, then positive current entering, current leaving negative minus plus to minus minus I R not positive to negative minus A V I is equal to zero. How we are getting this equation? Negative to positive plus V, then positive current entering, current leaving negative minus I R not minus A V I positive negative minus A V I equal to zero. That is the equation. That is. Here we get V I is equal to minus beta V. That is apply K V L. V minus I R not minus A V I equal to zero. Now substitute equation four in equation five. Whatever equation for V I we have got, we have to substitute in equation five. We get V minus I R not minus A V I equation is minus beta V minus beta V. That will be V minus I R not minus into minus is plus plus A beta V is equal to zero. V minus I R not plus A beta V is equal to zero. That is V is common. V is common here, and then uh, A beta V also V is there. Take it common. V into one plus A beta that is equal to I R not. V into one plus A beta that is equal to I R not. Or R O F. What is the equation for? Feedback resistance or resistance at the output with feedback, it is V by I. The basic equation that we have written, R O F is equal to V divided by I. V divided by I. That is output resistance with feedback. Correct. Now rearrange the terms here. V by I is equal to R not divided by one plus A beta. Now we are substituting in the equation for basic equation, right? First we are finding the Equation for using KVL to the input circuit, right? We are getting the equations. Then we are writing the KVL to the output circuit. In the output circuit equation, we are substituting whatever equations we have got and rearranging the terms so that we get R O F is V by I. That is R not divided by one plus A beta. R not divided by one plus A beta. Okay. Now in this equation, one plus A beta is greater than one. Correct. One plus a beta is greater than one. Therefore, R not divided by one plus a beta. That is R O F. R O F will be less than R not. Say that R O R not is ten. Uh, okay. Then one plus a beta is two. Ten divided by two is five. So R O F will be five. R not will be ten. That is R O F will be less than R not. R O F will be less than R not. Yes or no? 
since 1 plus a beta is greater than 1 rof will be less than r not we say that output resistance decreases by a factor of 1 plus a beta output resistance decreases by a factor of 1 plus a beta okay because rof is 1 upon a plus beta times r not therefore we conclude that the output resistance with feedback is 1 upon a plus beta times the output resistance without feedback okay in examination the question may be derive the expression for output resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier or they may ask like derive the expression rof is equal to r not divided by 1 plus e beta for the voltage series feedback amplifier that means it is the equation for the output resistance with feedback output resistance with feedback rof okay this derivation is clear students derivation is clear output yes, resistance sir. with uh, feedback okay fine next we we'll look into the voltage shunt feedback amplifier now voltage shunt feedback amplifier this is the basic configuration topology of the voltage shunt feedback amplifier what is meant by voltage shunt the output voltage is tapped from the output the output voltage is tapped from the output and the output is in shunt or in parallel with the current source the output is in shunt or in parallel with the current source and hence the output is also the current output is also the current okay right therefore this is the configuration or the topology what is the gain of the amplifier a it is output is v not input is ii v not by ii that gives the gain of the amplifier without feedback if we consider with feedback it will be v not divided by is v not divided by is these things we have seen correct v not divided by is then feedback network beta its gain is given by beta is given by output is if input is v not if by v not output is if input is v not if by v not gives the feedback gain beta okay the same equations i have written here gain a is equal to v not by i gain a is equal to output is v not input is i v not by i gives the gain a therefore v not will be equal to a into i v not will be equal to a into i cross multiplication right a into i take it as equation a let us apply kcl at input circuit kcl at the input circuit is here we are applying kirchhoff's current law remember when we are finding the gain or transfer gain equation with the feedback for voltage shunt feedback amplifier we are applying the kcl to the input circuit because the circuit is in terms of currents so we are applying the kirchhoff's current law if you apply kcl to the input circuit what we get here is will be equal to ii plus if is will be equal to ii plus if is is a supply current it is split into ii and if therefore is will be equal to ii plus if that is is will be equal to ii plus if or ii is equal to is minus if ii is equal to is minus if take it as equation b using equation b in equation a put equation b in equation a then we get v not is equal to a into ii i is is minus if it is a into is minus if a into is minus if fine that is multiply inside here a into is minus a into if a into is minus if will be a into is minus a into if beta what is the equation for beta beta is equal to if divided by v not output is if input is v not if by v not gives the feedback gain beta beta is if by v not or if will be cross multiply beta into v not if will be beta into v not i hope you all are following here students yes yes sir okay good if is equal to beta into v not right now we have to substitute this equation for if in this above equation let us see v not will be equal to a is minus a into if what is if beta v not v not is equal to a is minus a into beta v not because if is beta v not correct the same equation i have written here v not is equal to a is minus a beta v not a is minus a beta v not now get it in terms of v not by is because what is our basic equation students we have to get the equation as v not by is that is the gain with feedback correct 
that is why we are doing all this right first we are applying the kcl then we are resubstituting the equations so that finally we get the rearranging of terms and the equation will be in the form of v not by is right v not by is we have to bring the equation in the form of v not by is by resubstituting the equations v not is equal to ais minus a beta v not or v not plus a beta v not is equal to ais let us take v not common v not into 1 plus a beta that is equal to ais or af is equal to what is the equation with feedback output is v not input is is v not by is will be equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta correct af will be equal to v not by is that is our basic equation here we have written v not is output is is input v not by is gives the gain with feedback for the voltage shunt feedback amplifier they are studying the voltage shunt feedback amplifier as it is the equation of v by i this amplifier is also called as trans resistance amplifier because it is a resistance v by i ohms law that is equal to r v not is equal to ais minus a beta v not that is v not plus a beta v not is equal to ais take v not common this into 1 plus a beta that is equal to ais or v not by is rearrange the terms that is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta feedback gain with for the voltage shunt feedback amplifier is given by 1 upon 1 plus a beta times the gain without feedback a is the gain without feedback yes or no then af is the gain with feedback that is the gain with feedback for voltage shunt feedback amplifier is 1 upon 1 plus a beta times multiplied by the gain without feedback clear here in examination the question may be derive the equation for transfer gain of voltage shunt feedback amplifier or they may give the equation derive the equation af is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta for the voltage shunt feedback amplifier then you have to derive this equation fine in today's class we discussed about the input resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier derived the equation and we got the equation as rif is equal to ri into 1 plus a beta then later we derived the equation for output resistance of voltage series feedback amplifier then we got the equation as r not af is equal to r not divided by 1 plus a beta then final equation derivation of transfer gain of voltage shunt feedback amplifier the equation that we got is af is equal to 1 upon 1 plus a beta into a or af is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta right now what is the gain equation for voltage series feedback amplifier transfer gain equation for voltage series feedback amplifier can you recollect what is the gain equation yes what is the gain equation for voltage series feedback amplifier with feedback af is how much equation for af for voltage series feedback amplifier that is also a divided by 1 plus a beta only correct we derived in the last class right we derived in the last class voltage series feedback amplifier derivation of transfer gain with feedback that is af is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta okay both are same resistance that is word for uh, voltage series feedback amplifier gain equation af is a divided by 1 plus a beta and for the voltage shunt feedback amplifier also the gain equation is af is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta okay so any doubts here students any doubts here uh sir no doubt about that sir i have doubts about uh, regarding labs sir can i ask uh one minute i will turn off the recording just a minute you can ask no okay. other any other questions on the topic what we covered uh no sir i have understood that sir okay what about others any questions here others no sir understood no sir understood sir fine fine one minute i will just <laughs>